I thought we were gonna die there. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's Miss Mystery. Welcome to another eating show. Today I have some lemon pepper chicken, some lemon pepper steamed vegetables, and some sweet potatoes. They don't look like sweet potatoes because I didn't really cut them up, but this is what I have. I don't really want to drop anything. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope you like my Batman shirt. I've come to the conclusion that no matter how much I try to fix my hair so it doesn't look like I have messy hair, it just doesn't, it won't cooperate. So we're just going to say my signature look is a messy hair. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Postmates. I wanted to tell you about my life as a Postmate. So to join this, I have my water, I have a cup of ice that's melting, and I have this brisk raspberry iced tea, and as always, you know, my favorite, sriracha. And I cooked this all myself, and it looks delicious. The chicken looks a little dry, but it's okay. So we're going to start off with some sriracha. We're just, we're just going to put, you know, sriracha on everything, minus the sweet potato. You guys know I love sriracha. Let's get this drink started. This is going to be a story time. This is a story time that I've been wanting to tell you guys. But I just never really sat down to film it. So. Put this in there. We're going to save the rest. Let me start eating. I'm very hungry. Mm. Mm. This is probably the healthiest meal I've had all week. I've been eating like trash. If you saw on my previous video, I'm trying to get over a back sprain or have it heal. And it's just taking longer than I want it to. Therefore, I'm lazy and I opt for fast food because I haven't been cooking. And I've been eating a lot of Chinese food. Bad. Let me dig into this sweet potato. Ooh. I love sweet potato. I used to not like it until... Um... I tried it in like yams with like the marshmallows, like candied yams. Then I really grew into it. And when I was working out, I know my trainer would tell me, no, you have to do sweet potatoes. Poke my eye out. This chicken is delicious. If you guys want a recipe on this, leave a comment down below. Mm. This is really good. I don't like the skin. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the skin. Guys, I just want to say, every time I'm about to sit down and film, something always happens. It's, my neighbors are being loud, or the kids are outside playing loud, or there's an airplane that passes by, or there's cats meowing, like, how I hear one right now, so I don't know if you guys can hear, but okay. 
One more bite and we'll get into the story time. I'm almost done. Okay, let's get started. It started back in April of this year, 2019. I I don't know if you guys saw in my other video, the Pollo Loco and Del Taco mukbang. I will link that down below. So you guys can check that out. I was laid off from my job. So I was kind of like hesitant of, okay, how am I going to make an income now while I'm looking for a job, for another job, you know? I decided to take a chance at Postmates because a friend of mine also was doing it, you know, and said great things about it. And I'm like, okay, I decided to do it. I don't want to get too into detail as far as how Postmates works. That could be another video if you guys are interested in that one. Let me know and I'll go ahead and make that video as well. So I started Postmates about four months ago. Yeah, it's going to be five months already. Because I needed that like quick income. I needed money coming in. Um, just because I had bills to pay and stuff, you know. And so I started doing Postmates. And at first I was a little nervous because I didn't really know how it worked, just, you know, naturally. I asked my friend for help, and they did. I did it for some time here and there. I would do it on weekends. You know, you have to get to know the habits of how it works, Postmates, for you to really do it. You know, it's like knowing the tips and the tricks to it. But like I said, that could be another video. I have two... Ooh, almost knocked my drink out. I have two stories to tell. The first one is, most people ask me when I tell them that I work for Postmates, what's the worst experience you've ever had? Now, you'd think it'd be like an angry customer or a pissed off customer or, you know, the order going wrong. That does happen. So, guys, I'm letting you know, if you're going to work for Postmates, be prepared for the worst because that does happen. You know, you could get the wrong order. The order can get messed up or the customer can be upset or someone can cancel the order. You know, all that stuff happens. The worst experience for me was I had gotten an order. I had been postmating all day. I postmated all day. I was doing it, you know, because I needed the money and I was having a good day. It was going good. I was having a good day. I was pretty much done for the day. It was probably around, I want to say somewhere between 8 and 9 p.m. So it was kind of getting later on already in the evening. And I was with my husband. He decided to come with me. So generous of him. Thank you. And I told him, you know what, let's take one last order. I know it's pretty late at night. I know we've been driving around for a couple of hours already. But let's just take one more order. You know, let's just end the night. Let's just take one more order. And he said, okay, let's do it. So we're driving around. And my last order comes in. And it's from Sonic. People order food through the app. Like, if I go through the app, people order food, then it gets uh, transferred to the driver, the driver goes. In some places, the food is already prepaid, but in some places, you have to get down and order it. In this case, it was Sonic, so I had to pretty much stay at the window, you know, in that parking spot, push the red button, and order. It just depends on the restaurant. We went to Sonic. It came up on my phone. We weren't too far from it. We drove to Sonic. I remember this customer I had 
ordered like tater tots with like a chili cheese dog and a corn i'm not really i don't really remember the order that well but it was it was a good amount of food with like a drink in that and we pull up and we're parked there and i ordered the food Okay, and I ordered the food, and as I'm waiting for the food and I'm paying for it, I start looking at um, where I'm going to deliver it. I'm always thinking ahead, just to see how far it is, like, to make sure that I know where to go right away as soon as I'm done so I don't have any time in between because I like my customers to get their food when it's warm. I want to be there, you know, as fast as I can but safely, not speeding or anything. And I'm waiting for the food and I'm looking through the phone to see the address. And I thought it was kind of weird because it it's not like an apartment where it says, you know, apartment number so and so or you know, it just said room uh 10 something room I'm I'm not sure what room it was, room 10 something. And I thought, room? I'm like, okay, maybe it's like a office or something? Kind of like a... I just thought it was like a board meeting room. I don't know, a room like that. And it wasn't until I kind of set my phone down that it clicked. Like, oh my god, no, I think this is a hotel. And um, I think the person had texted me letting me know that they needed like sauce to grab so like you know to grab condiments and I said okay yeah you know don't worry I got it and then he told me this was a he it was a guy he said oh yeah and um, I'm in room so and so so you just you know come up and ring you know, knock on the door and right off the bat I'm like uh, no. first off you can be in a hotel room but I'm not going to just go up to your room at these hours at night. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know where the hell you are. Anyways, his food's ready. I told him, okay, yeah, that's fine. You know, we'll see you soon. I just want to let you know your food's taking a little longer. You know, keep him informed. The food was finally ready, and we left. But I explained to my husband that it was in a room. I think it was like a hotel room. So, you know, he didn't want me to go by myself, to get down by myself. I put in the address. It was probably like 15 to 20 minutes from where we were, from Sonic. We're driving... And it was in a very distant, like, weird, distinct road I've never been in. It was kind of like a, like a, one of those, like, highways. You can tell not a lot of people go there. We're driving there, and finally, um, it becomes dark. Like, there was no street lights, it's just dark. And I started panicking a little because I'm like, okay, where is this place? So as I'm driving, I'm going up, like, this hill. I reach the top, and I look to my right, and there's a hotel. But when I say hotel, it was more like a motel. It was very scary, very dark. It was like a scene from the movie Joyride. If you guys haven't seen that, I'm going to insert a picture somewhere here, 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 so you can know what I'm talking about. But the person was not rude. They were actually very polite. They were very nice, you know, very appreciative. Like, 
please and thank you. Um, which is a plus, but it still doesn't give me reason enough to fully trust him. We arrive at the motel. It's no cement, just like a dirt motel. Tiny, in the middle of nowhere, literally in the middle of nowhere. I park, and as I'm parking, I look to my left, and there's these two guys, and this white van, of all things, a freaking white van. And they're kind of just staring at my husband and I, like, in a weird kind of way. And I'm already, my nerves are kind of already, you know, a little on edge, because one, I'm in a place that I'm not familiar with, even though it is my hometown, I'm not familiar with it. Two, it's late. But that is my fault that I agreed to take that order so late. And three, I just don't know where the hell to turn this food in. So we get there and um, we're looking at these guys and my husband tells me, like, don't get down, you know, I'll go by myself. And I told him, hell no, you're not going by yourself. Like, you know, I'm going with you. You're not going to leave me in the car by myself. We get down and we start walking out and I told him, hey, it says room so-and-so. I don't want to... I don't feel like we should go to the room because I think it was like a two-story motel. And I told him, I don't think we should fully go. I think we should just leave it in the front, like the front desk. And there was someone there. Um, and this ho oh my god, this place was creepy. I'm talking about like goosebumps, dark. Just picture it. Picture it, guys. It was nighttime, dark, no lights dirt road in the middle of nowhere like up in the hills just literally it was like this like the t hills have eyes or a texas chainsaw scene and we're walking and i'm telling my husband okay like just you know i'm kind of like looking around lock my car and as we're approaching someone's walking towards us but of course you know i don't i took my glasses off I don't know why I took my glasses off and we're walking and I see like a shadowy figure is like walking our way so I'm squinting you know doing this like who the hell is that and all of a sudden I hear someone call my name and I'm like okay that has to be him you know but it was weird, like, he was walking towards us, kind of, like, where we were, the light was hitting us, but he was in the shadows. It was funny. It's, like, cartoonish. It's not funny, but it was just weird how it happened. So he says my name, and he didn't expect to see my husband, so I was behind him. So we give him his food, right? Like, nothing. It was just, okay, let's get the hell out of here. We literally almost ran back to our car, turned around, got out, and I got the biggest scolding from my husband about, you know, why not to be there so late and why did I take that order, which I guess I deserved. But how was I to know that it was going to be there? That was by far the creepiest and most interesting delivery I've ever had. I I thought we were going to die there. But I'm alive. We're alive. That was the creepiest. That's my number one story. That was the creepiest place, place I've ever been to. Hey guys, I thought this video was going on a little too long, so I'm going to split it into two parts. Stay tuned next week for part two. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I just want to say sorry for the late upload on Saturday, but I promise I am working on it. See you on the next video.